on this Thursday morning, I would like to talk to you about what can stop you from obtaining your goals. I sound like Joel Osteen all of a sudden. <laughs> I would like to point out that Romans chapter 8 speaks exactly to what can keep you from what God has for you. If you open up your Bibles to Romans chapter 8, I'm going to read to you verses 31 down to um, 34, well, maybe a little further. Let's read together and see what can keep you from obtaining your goals. What then shall we say in response to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? He did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all. How will he not also, along with him, graciously give us all things? Who will bring any charges against those whom God has chosen? If God, who, if God is the one who justifies them. Who then is the one who condemns? No one. Christ Jesus, who died more than that, who was raised to life, is at the right hand of God and is also interceding for us. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall trouble or hardship or persecution or famine or nakedness or, or, uh, or danger of sword? What can keep you from your promises? Well, if you look outside, from yesterday's beautiful sunny day, today it is raining. And when it's raining, a lot of people get discouraged. A lot of people get bogged down. A lot of people look at the weather and say, oh, another rainstorm? How am I going to move forward? Let me tell you, if God is for you, who can be against you? If God is the one that's fighting your battles, why are you so afraid of a little weather? If God is for you, why are we so afraid of this coronavirus? If we are to die, and I'm not suggesting that we go and kill ourselves, but if we were to die from this coronavirus, for those that know Jesus, we know that our end destination is to be with him. What can keep you from obtaining what God has for you? And I love how this passage says, who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Who can separate who can separate you from your destination? From your destiny. Christ is my destiny. I hope Christ is your destiny. Shall trouble or hardship or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger of or or, or sword or corona or rain and you put the obstacle that is in your way. What can separate you? from your destiny. Nothing. Nothing can stand between you and God. Nothing can stand between you and Christ Jesus. Nothing. The word nothing means nothing. I love speaking um, about the love of Christ. I love speaking about what God has done for me in my life. Would you share what God is doing in your life with someone that you love. I love you. That's why I'm sharing with you every morning. And when it's raining outside, we still have the love of Christ. The love of Christ is not going anywhere. The love of Christ continues and his mercies are renewed every single morning. Verse 31, one more time. What then shall we say in response to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? God did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us. How will he not also, along with him, graciously give us all things? Who will bring charges against those who, whom God has chosen? It is God who justifies. So there's nothing that can separate you from the love of the Father. There's nothing that can separate you 
from the love of Christ. Nothing can stand in the way between you and the Holy Spirit. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. We will not have a Zoom call tonight. However, I want you to meditate on this word. And tomorrow when uh, we, we speak on Zoom, I may bring this up. And you can tell me how this affects you. If you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please subscribe. I have a lot more encouraging words coming your way. God bless you. I love you. And today's Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday. TGIF. I've got a special word for you tomorrow. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.